Is the Iran nuclear deal about to be killed off? Well, the deal came after years of tension over Iran's alleged efforts to build a nuclear bomb. It said its program was always peaceful, but the world didn't really believe that. And for 10 years, the UN imposed sanctions. The deal, reached in 2015, brought together the permanent members of the UN Security Council and the EU. It is a great honor for us to announce that we have reached an agreement on the Iranian nuclear issue. And it was called the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action. A shared commitment to peace and to join hands in order to make our world safer. Iran agreed to do away with large parts of its nuclear program and allow international inspectors to monitor what was left. In return, the international community agreed to lift the sanctions, allowing Iran to do business, sell oil and recover $100 billion of assets frozen in banks abroad. But not everyone was happy. Benjamin Netanyahu, Israel's prime minister in particular, said Iran could not and cannot be trusted. The Iran deal, the nuclear deal, is based on lies. And Donald Trump calls it the worst deal in the world. And he's threatening to walk away unless what he calls the terrible flaws can be fixed. Well, what are those flaws? Some people are bothered by the fact that many of the deal's key provisions expire in 10, 15 or 25 years. But you know, in seven years, that deal will have expired and Iran is free to go ahead and create nuclear weapons. That's not acceptable. Then there's the fact that the deal simply doesn't cover Iran's ballistic missile program. They're setting off missiles, which they say are for television purposes. I don't think so. And Iran's behavior across the Middle East, its involvement in the wars in Syria and Yemen, that's something that bothers almost everyone. The Europeans say the deal isn't perfect, but it is working and that it would be crazy to tear it up. Some say it's actually the Americans who are not abiding by the deal. The U.S. is well advised to finally start honoring its commitments. Still making it hard for companies to do business with Iran. No one quite knows what Donald Trump has in mind. I'm not telling you what I'm doing, but a lot of people think they know. But if he does make good on his threat, then the deal's other backers will have a problem. Do they try and keep it alive by themselves, or do they try and pressure Iran into accepting new conditions? Iran has said if that happens, it too could walk away.